Hello! Long time no see! I feel so weird filming a video. Kinda good just to be able to talk to the camera again and be able to be myself. I am so excited to be saying that I am going to be back on YouTube. I am going to be taking you along this next part of my journey with me, which I'm so excited to tell you about! I'm just going to say it. I'm moving to Abu Dhabi in six days. I need to pack and I need to pack lots and I need to pack lots into a 30 kilogram bag because that is the only <laughs> luggage allowance that I have to take with me. I just wanted to like kind of retract because I have been wanting to move abroad since I was about 12 years old. I always said to my mom and dad like, why did you choose to live in Fife? It's just a place I lived and grew up in, in Scotland. But yeah, I was pretty against it. Even though I love Scotland so much now, I always wanted to move abroad. So this is honestly like a dream come true for me. It's hit me in ways I never expected. Like, I am so scared to move. I thought I would just be like, oh, off I go then, see ya. But I actually feel really emotional to move and it's such a scary process to leave your family and every other decision I've made in the past has been so impulsive. In the past, I've been like, I'm gonna move to Leeds, for example, and then I would move like a few days after I decided or I'm gonna move here and then move a few days after I've decided. So I've never actually had to wait so long for a move before and I've been having a lot of like panicked episodes about it before I sleep because it is just so scary. And it's obviously a bigger move than like from Scotland to England. It's from Scotland to Abu Dhabi, which is like a seven hour flight away and a completely different time zone in somewhere I've never actually been. <laughs> I've been to Dubai, which is where we were originally gonna move, but we're actually moving to Abu Dhabi now because of Mac's work. So yeah, this is a weird and wonderful journey. This vlog might be a bit long because I'm gonna be taking you from now, six days before, packing to actually like, this is the moving vlog. So buckle in, okay? Find yourself a seat with extra leg room because you might be sitting here for a while. <laughs> Pardon the pun. So I've got these vacuum bags that I'm gonna put some of my clothes in to move all my stuff to move country in the same suitcase that I go on holiday in. So I've got these vacuum bags, basically you just put all your clothes in and then you put the hoover on this little nozzle thing and it just sucks all the air out and it's really cool. Anyway, so the first thing I'm gonna pack is dresses because I know that I'm not gonna be wearing any of these from now until when I go. So I can vacuum these without any worry. I'm a bit in denial because a lot of these dresses, I'm like, yeah, I'll wear them all the time. Like, will I? When when did I last wear it? But then again, I don't live in a hot country, so I don't really wear summer dresses ever, apart from on holiday. So I'm going to be wearing, like, for example, this on the daily basis. Maybe I will, but I feel like I don't know until I get there. So, like, I have to take it in case, and then I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, enough of me rambling. I'm going to try and vacuum these clothes. <laughs> actually packed one of the vacuum bags, one of the extra large ones as well. I'm just away to put this in it, which is my favourite thing to wear because it's just like, it's baggy, it's free, it's flowy, and Max says it looks like a nappy, so that's definitely coming with us. I'm away to vacuum seal this. I don't actually know how this is going to go, but here goes. I'm nervous. I should have made it more even because now it's got a huge bump here but that's not bad that's not bad why was that so weird okay this is what it looks like now it's just like one big lump wow okay it turns out I have so much more clothes than I ever thought <laughs> I was like no it's fine I don't have that many clothes. I'll fit them all into like one vacuum pack and I'll have loads of space. Why was I so in denial? Why? Right, while I have a moment, I need to tell you this, but look at Simba. He wants, do you want to come with me? Do you want to come with me? He's in my suitcase, look how much I've packed. <laughs> anyway, I have a secret to share with you. So, these little two boxes right here, and also this card. This says Mac on it. You're like, Fiona, what are these two boxes? Tell me now. Okay, okay. So, take Mac to like a beach or something. I'll try to film it if I can, if I can like be sly. 
so I've got this card and it's like a letter and it's like this is the first day that we've moved country blah 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 loads of cringy stuff and then I got us matching little bracelets with the the date that we met on it oh wait <laughs> can you see that okay so it's just a really really tiny bracelet with the date that we met on it and I got this matching bracelet for us because it's so cute and I just thought it was really special so yeah I'm gonna give him that the first night we get there so I'm gonna take him somewhere but I don't know where I'm gonna take him obviously because I've never actually been to Abu Dhabi so I don't actually know <laughs> where to go so it might not even be a cute spot it might just be in the room but I will film it if I can because I thought I had to tell you my secret I had to tell someone because I've been keeping this in for weeks and I can't keep a secret I can't keep a secret to save myself, so the fact that I've not told him yet about this is a big deal. It is today which I see Mac, which means tomorrow is the day we actually leave. I have got to get all this stuff on a five hour train. I don't actually know how I'm going to do it. I have no other choice though. So we've got bag one. Bag one is fine. Bag one is good. Bag two, which is a handbag. Bag three, which is a vacuum bag. This is deceiving because it's actually really, really heavy. It's like 10 kilograms. Bag four. This, I can barely lift off the ground. Like, it is so heavy. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm actually, I don't know. I'm gonna need to ask for help to get my bags off because I'm gonna have to change trains in between. But anyway, it's all part of the fun. It's all part of the fun, isn't it? Help me. Anyway, so I am just feeling very, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how I'm feeling. I'm feeling nervous, but I'm feeling excited at the same time. I'm just ready to do it now. I'm ready to go. Do I look weird? I feel like I'm like emotional. Like I want to cry. But like I also feel so excited at the same time. Anyway, I will speak to you when I see Mac. We're packed and ready to go now. What time is it? 4.39. I've already spilled makeup down the only hoodie that I'm bringing at the moment because the other suitcase is coming in two weeks. So I'll get all my other hoodies then, but for now I'm just gonna be dirty. This is my airport outfit, not that it's anything <laughs> special. Why is it blurry? There we go. Let's see your brekkie. Ooh. We're at our gate now, ready to board. I'm so excited now. I feel like the nerves have kind of gone and I'm actually feeling quite good, but we'll see how I feel tonight because we didn't get much sleep last night. But I think that might work in our favor because the time difference means that we need to fall asleep like a lot earlier than usual. So yeah, that might actually work out. I'm one of those people who can't sit still in an airport, so I've literally just been going around the shops, exploring, and Max, like, not that type of person. So we're like literally the opposite. Also, no matter how tired I am when I get there, I have to explore, whereas Mac is like straight to bed. But I'm gonna drag him out with me, because we know about the surprise. <laughs> We're boarding now. Mac always gets the window seat because he's a child. <laughs> arrived now we're in this little apartment place that our max work has given us for the first month which is so kind because it's actually insane so i'm going to show you around um the flight was good so this is the kitchen and this is like a living room area i don't actually know what we can see outside yet we literally just got here but it's, it's cute and then come in these doors and then this is the bedroom hello mac hello. And then there's a wee TV, window there, and then our bathroom. Oh my goodness, it's massive. I've not actually been in here. Hello. I do think, they said we had a disabled room for the first night, and then we would get changed, but we asked them and they didn't seem to have a clue about it, but we have got a disabled room, so I don't think we're going to unpack tonight just in case we need to change rooms tomorrow, because that is what they originally said. So I think we're gonna go get some food now. We had some food, they kept giving us food on the plane, so that was good. There was this like unreal little pizza, I don't know what it was, but it was a concoction of like pizza-ness and 
it was so nice so had that and then had what else did i have oh yeah pasta i got the veggie option i didn't know why she just said chicken pasta and beef and i had to decide really fast i was like oh pasta i didn't realize it was veggie anyway that's fine not a problem but <laughs> now i am hungry because i feel like on travel days i get so hungry so yeah i'm gonna get some find some food and get my priorities straight obviously What's this? <laughs> You're trying to make me cry. <laughs> Stop, it, <laughs> Stop it. I'm keeping that forever. Oh, they look so cute. The day we met? Yeah. We found a supermarket. How fun! and exciting our new supermarkets. Look, it's like Costco, but a supermarket all in one, they have everything. I'll have them all. <laughs> the supermarket's the biggest supermarket I've ever seen in my entire life. I could spend hours in here. I'm having a field day, Max having a field day. <gasps> monsters, how much are they? Oh. It's just hay fever. The monsters are like two pound for half a can. I've lost Mac in the supermarket. Here he is. Hello, so it's actually, we have been here for two days now. Yesterday was our first full day and then today is our second first full day. Second first full day. <laughs> second full day. And yesterday was a bit all over the place. Yesterday I had a medical test that I needed to do to get your visa and then we're at the hospital for ages and it just like I had no routine or structure to yesterday at all um, and then today was a little bit more structured because I actually got up at a decent time and I went for a walk before it got like really really hot so I went for a walk on the island that we're thinking about moving to so in Dubai everything's very far apart so if you see something on a map that looks really close together it'll probably be like half an hour in a car apart so we were thinking it'll be the same here but when I went on a walk this morning to the island it only took me like half an hour to get to the middle of the actual island so yeah everything's a lot closer yeah so far so good it is hot but I'm actually not struggling with it I actually quite like it and yeah it's been really nice so far at night time it's very humid so it's like wet hot and then during the day it's like dry hot mac explained to me why this is but i won't bore you with that unless you want to know then i will tell you but <laughs> i did go to a gym today but that's definitely not the gym that i'll be continuing to go to because it was just filled with like grunting men and there wasn't any girls there which doesn't really matter but i just felt a bit out of place i felt a bit self-conscious so I think I'm going to try and find a different gym. I mean, we're only at this place for a month anyway, so we will be moving. So I'm like, oh, I can't get settled because I don't want to find a really like nice gym to go to, a nice coffee shop to go to and like stuff if I'm going to be moving in a month. But I need to change my mindset because I know that's not the way I should be thinking of things. It's just hard when you know that you're moving. I feel like I've spent the last six months knowing that I was moving here though. So it's like I'm always waiting for the next thing. I need to actually just like live now and deal with the next stage when it comes to it if that makes sense it's a week before my period right now though and i'm absolutely like ravenous i just like now now and then some days before my period just hit me and i honestly cannot be satisfied i did like i was gonna take pictures of everything i was eating today well i have so far but i was like i cannot post this like this is ridiculous and i'm gonna get hate for being like an inspiration to be unhealthy <laughs> I don't know like should I just post it anyway and explain this is the thing I get so self-conscious about everything I post I end up not, not posting anything because I'm like someone's gonna say this someone's gonna say that and then I end up not doing anything at all so this is actually a really big deal for me to film the YouTube video in the first place because I feel like it's just something that I'm so nervous about I'm quite sensitive so I take things to heart really easily and yeah but I'm gonna keep you updated and I'm gonna end this moving vlog here. I'm going to start a new video soon of like my first week from now probably because the first two days were just like getting settled in, getting my bearings. But yeah, thank you so much if you have watched until this point. Um, it means so much to me that you've watched this video. Please, please let me know if you actually enjoyed it because I really want to know if these videos are something you would like to continue seeing. So yeah. 
give it a thumbs up if you can and thank you so much bye